<laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another weekly vlog. As you can tell, I've got on my new witch hat that I just got from Spirit Halloween yesterday. <laughs> and it's currently Tuesday, um, October, I don't know, whatever the date is. I don't know, I haven't kept track of dates uh, because I've been sick all week, so yeah. Um, I'm feeling a lot better though. Just have like a lingering cough and sinus problems but I won't bore you with the details. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is my new witch costume. I also have a few items I can show you. I'm trying it on right now. I have these little handcuffs, which go up to, they're like sleeves basically. So cute. And then I've also got this little waist belt, which could definitely work for a pirate or any kind of like mage as well and you just buckle it in the back so cute so i think i'm gonna just wear like all black or at least like all dark colors and i'm gonna be a witch i actually have two costumes this year so on sunday before halloween i'm gonna be a witch at the renaissance festival and then the night before we're going to a christmas not christmas party a halloween party and Ryan and I are going to be, I'm going to be Marceline the Vampire Queen and Ryan's going to be the male version of her. And we bought some fangs, so hopefully those go well. We got some fangs to be vampires, but she just wears like a buffalo check flannel. <laughs> so it's pretty simple. Um, we just need to get a guitar. So, but that's it for the little costume update i just really loved my little hat and i wanted to show you guys but it's so pretty it's got this little bow on the back and it's a velvet it's just gorgeous so if you're gonna be a witch i definitely recommend going to spirit halloween and getting you a pretty witch hat rather than just like a typical one so anyways um i'm gonna go back to work <laughs> i just took a break to open this up and just check it out so that i knew i wouldn't have to return it feeling a lot better so there's the Halloween lay down for you guys and I'll talk to you all later. Okay, sorry for this tilted angle, but I'm in the Kroger parking lot and I had to pick up a few things. So I grabbed a pumpkin cream cold brew figured I'd get one while I was out. And I have a little haul for you guys. I was specifically looking for Halloween candy. <laughs> I'm gonna be making some Rice Krispie treats for a Halloween party in a couple weeks. And so my HEB is always sold out of everything because it's very picked over. There's a ton of people that shop there um, and they have a very small Halloween section. So I went to Kroger and I found the M&M's Ghouls Mix. Oh, so cute. And then I got these peanut ones just to eat because they sounded good and they're so cute. So I'm going to put them on top of the Rice Krispie Treats. And then while I was there, I noticed they had a bunch of Squishmallows and they had some Harry Potter ones. So I picked up Ryan a Ravenclaw one for him. So mm, he's so cute. It's like really tiny, but I hope he's going to like it because he started to be jealous of my squishmallows and he's wanted one so i got him a little ravenclaw i just think it's the cutest little thing it's so small i love it okay so that's my little hole i'm gonna go back home but i just wanted to update you guys on that because i just thought it was adorable so all right i'll see you guys at home
tell this, but I made orange hot cocoa and it's so cute. Friday and I just finished work. I got dressed. Ryan and I are gonna go to the mall to do a little shopping and I wanted to show you my outfit because I think it's super cute. So I'm having some sort of like allergy flare up on my chest so I wanted to cover it and I put on this little like shrug thing and then I have my one piece Pilates jumpsuit <laughs> and then my converse. I just thought it was cute and comfy and I'm not putting makeup on because like I said I have some sort of reaction going on on my face so i just want to let it sit and like be okay and heal <laughs> so anyways this is the fit and i'll see you guys at the mall changed we had a huge pizza and it was so good but i'm gonna show you guys the haul i have the first thing laid out here for you guys and i already packed for tomorrow me and my mom are actually going to baton rouge for the lsu versus army game so i already packed everything and i'm ready to go so anyways let's get into the haul the first thing is something i've been planning on buying for a few years now and that is a winter coat so I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'm so excited. Okay, so here she is. This is a Michael Kors trench coat, and it is wool. And I got this from Macy's. It was actually 50% off, so that made me super happy. And this was $320, so I got it half off, so about $165. So very happy with my find. I knew I was going to spend around 200 or more for a really nice quality wool coat, but this will last me a lifetime. I'm sure of it. And I'm just really excited to have one because we do plan on doing a few winter trips this year. So I'm going to definitely need this um, for those trips. So I'm so happy. This was like the big purchase that I really needed to make for this trip, but I'm going to put out the rest of the stuff because here's all of our bags. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. I'll show you what Ryan got too because he got some good things. So let me go ahead and lay this out on the bed and I'll put up my coat and show you guys the rest. I'm actually going to have to do this in installments. So first up, we have Aerie. I went to go pick up some new flare crossover leggings. These are my absolute favorites. They're just the offline real me flares. So I got the crossover ones and then these ones are just a regular waistband. They're the offline real me extra boot cut. So I just restocked myself on these. They're about 50 bucks each. I think they were on sale actually because these were like 35 and these were 38 or something. Um, but I love these. I have two pairs already that I wear all the time, but they have like some pilling in the middle now where my thighs touch. So I just went ahead and restocked myself on some new ones. And then from Zara, I totally didn't need anything, but it's Zara and I have to, I always get something while I'm there. So I picked up two items and that's this dress, which is so pretty on the hanger. It's not doing it justice on the bed, but it has this side ruching and then this ruching up at the sleeve. And it's just like a short dress. It's just super plain and simple, but very gorgeous and flattering. And it was $45. Honestly, really great quality for $45. And then I got this like silky shirt. I don't have anything in this color. I thought it would be fun for like holiday parties or something. And it's like a little dressy. So I picked this one up for $39.90. And then Ryan picked up this like olive green sweatshirt just to have a basic. And this is $39.90. So good little Zara haul and airy. Okay, next we move on to what I got at Dillard's. Now Dillard's, I went specifically to look for this brand because I own these two turtlenecks in a like camel brown color and it's the softest thing I've ever owned. It is so soft and luxurious and smooth. So I wanted to get it in white and black just to have like every 
basic color covered and I can use these as thermals when it gets super cold. So I just thought this was a great investment. And this is the brand Gianni Beanie GB. And this was $39. So here's what the tag looks like. If you guys have a Dillard's that you want to go see if they have that. But I got it in white and black. And then I also got it in the sleeveless version. Because I thought that would be cute. Because, you know, it's Texas. And it does not get very cold here often. So I can always wear this and pretend that it's cold. But I have no sleeves on. So this one was $34. So I just thought that was great. So these are just super simple basics. And then Ryan needed some long sleeve polos. So he did pick up a polo, polo, and that's a little expensive. And then he also needed some work shoes. So he picked up some new Johnston and Murphy's and these, let's see if I can get, these are the Tanner plain toe tan full grain leathers. So they're really nice but they have like a little tennis shoe bottom, so they're super comfortable. I love that men's uh, dress shoes have come so far. It's pretty cool to see all the new like tennis shoe dress shoes. So that's it for this. And then I'm gonna show you what Ryan got from Abercrombie and that is it. Okay, time for possibly my favorite part of the haul. And it's these two shirts that Ryan got from Abercrombie. It was so cute. So this is like a thin sweater. It's so adorable. I love this like cross stitching on it. And it, you can tell it's pretty thin, which is perfect for Texas winter because it never gets super cold. But he wanted to pick up some collared sweaters or polos, things like that for the office to wear for winter time. So this one was 70 bucks in the black and he also picked up this like gray green color. They ordered it online for him. So that's this one. It is the softest thing I've felt in a long time too. It feels so good. And then this flannel, I convinced him to buy. Honestly, living out my Luke Danes fantasy. Um, it is so cute. I love that it's this neutral plaid, of course, with the tortoiseshell buttons. Like, this is just so nice. It does feel like it will keep him warm, too. And he can wear this kind of as a shirt or just as like a throw over a t-shirt kind of jacket, leave it unbuttoned. And this was also 70. So I think it's just like a really good deal for men. If you don't shop yet for your boyfriend, significant other um, at Abercrombie, you need to check it out because they have every now and then like a really nice basic like this or like this sweater. That's just like super nice. And honestly, 70 bucks for a nice flannel is not bad. So these two are probably my favorite thing that he picked up today. Okay, so I'm gonna clean all this up <laughs> and then I need to shower and get ready for bed because I have to be up bright and early tomorrow to drive to Baton Rouge. But yeah, that's it for the haul for now. I will see you guys tomorrow when we go to the LSU game, which I have not been to one in person in three years since before COVID. So this is gonna be really, really fun and I am so looking forward to it. So I will see you guys all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.